Yo, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we are blasting New Jersey's altar of gore, obscure and obscene gods. This is an advanced copy of the debut full length from Altar of Gore, Obscure and Obscene Gods to be released by NVNM in late 2019. Speaking of NVNM, they reopened their store and Oh yeah, the full length by Blasphematory is available. Thank you, Aaron, for fucking snagging that for me. Depths of the Obscurity is also going to be the name of the full length. I still recommend also grabbing the demo as well. Like, I love the Altar of Gore demo, and I love the fucking full length. I feel like they're like brother and sister. They're fucking perfect. Just absolutely killer, killer New Jersey death metal. NVNM is my shit. It's not just death metal either, and that's what's so fucking sick about one of the best DIY labels in the underground. But Martyr Doom Productions are doing the Blasphematory full length CD. So keep your eyes open for that if you're into digital frisbees. I'm sorry, I'm an asshole sometimes, but I'll tell you something I'm not going to be an asshole about, and I'm not being biased at all about this next release. And you might, based on the t-shirts, you probably see me wearing very, very frequently, will be like, you're full of fucking shit, dude. No matter what, you're gonna say this is the fucking best, but... It actually is the best. If I didn't feel like this lived up to everything I fucking expected it to be, I would say it. But, no. Blood Incantation and their sophomore full-length hidden history of the human race pretty much has been the most talked about and what may be the most important death metal record in the past 20 years and that's not just my statement that comes from higher up but I'll get to that in the in a moment look at the fuck the artwork is absolutely gorgeous the cosmetics that Dark Descent allowed Blood Incantation to do absolutely amazing and I heard that the Century Media version in, in Europe, the power of Blood Incantation pretty much sums up this story I heard, and if you have a European copy of Hidden History of the Human Race, let me know if it really says Century Death Records instead of Century Media, because that's awesome. Like, that might be a callback to, like, Century Black, which existed for a time period, but I just think that's fucking awesome. Like, if that was part of the contract or whatever, like, yeah, like, we'll sign this, but you have to give us 100% creative control on the cosmetics of our record. And I'm guessing that had to have happened, because this right here is not only a monster musically, Throughout four tracks of just total fucking cosmic death metal. There's parts on here that are ambient. There's parts on here that are fucking doom. And most of all, you want to know what Blood Incantation's new record sounds like? It fucking sounds like Blood Incantation. Seriously. And it was actually quoted by their drummer, Isaac. Like, pretty much... We want it to sound like Blood Incantation. And if that doesn't make sense to you, that means that the bar set by Star Spawn is on a completely different level than the rest of Death Metal. And it, again, I'm not being biased, but I strongly fucking stand by that statement. Starspawn is one of those albums that 
I still hear new shit. It doesn't get old. It's still as fresh as it was in 2016. And these songs still slay live. But what Blood Incantation did with Hidden History of the Human Race is take the formula of Star Spawn and just up the experimentation, the atmosphere, the heaviness, everything. Star Spawn laid out the blueprint of what Blood Incantation wanted to sound like. And some of their main influences are definitely audible. You can hear parts that sound like Morbid Angel. You can hear parts that sound like Demilic. There's a lot of parts that sound like Time Ghoul, and it's fucking awesome. But let's get to the cosmetics for a moment. The Stargate Research Society presents a meditative inquiry on the mystery and nature of human consciousness as revealed by Blood Incantation. To me, this is so brilliant. And first off, it's 70s as fuck. Very, very cultish. And not like <clears throat> cultish. Like, I'm talking like, you know, some fucking Timothy Leary, Johnstown, or Jonestown. What, you know, like the crazy cult shit. Fucking Hail Bob Comet. You know, the, the, those people. It, it really reminded me of, like, a pamphlet that you would get from a cult. And it was fucking... It's so sick. But also, at the same time, I feel like this is just as important as the music. And making physical media, again, be way more important than most other bands look at it. A lot of bands look at physical media just as a fucking paycheck. Blood Incantation look at it as a way to expand their art form. Because, don't get me wrong, it's awesome if you ordered this digitally. But, you're missing out on all this cool shit that comes with it, especially the fucking conspiracy pamphlet. This is so goddamn cool. Blood Incantation are time travelers. They are returning you to the cosmos. Like, and there's, there's the Giza power plant. There's all sorts of fucking cool ass shit in here. And this is the stuff you miss out on when it comes to digital releases, but I understand completely why some people just live and die by digital downloads and all that other stuff. They just want the music and all this is just peanuts or, you know, maybe they don't have a CD player, they don't have a tape deck, or they don't have a turntable and it's whatever. But I'm just saying, I think this is a record that is best enjoyed when you have the lyrics in front of you. Maximum volume yields maximum results, and I hate sounding like this, but if you smoke weed, smoke weed before listening to this record. Seriously, it just adds that little bit of extra whoa, like on some legit, like, fucking Bill and Ted shit. It's one of those records that I really wish, like, I could just take, like, three tabs of LSD and just dive into head first with this on repeat. Like, it would be fucking great. And LP-wise, I got the Cosmic Galaxy variant. I think it's just the Galaxy variant. But fucking gorgeous stuff like wow and I love how the b-sides just one 
long ass 18 plus minute just absolute death metal masterpiece. I don't know how Blood Incantation can go from sounding like later error death into fucking Tangerine Dream. I have no idea how that fucking works, but when you get to side two and awakening from the dream of existence to the multi-dimensional nature of our reality, Mirror of the Soul, you will completely understand that Blood Incantation have done something completely fucking special with Hidden History of the Human Race, and that is... You know how bands claim to be experimental in the death metal genre? Well, guess who actually are experimental and fucking pulled it off better than any band I've heard in a very long time, probably since Star Spawn. This is so fucking good. And again, I'm not being biased. Just as soon as you get to the opening riff of Slave Species of the Gods, this record just reels you the fuck in. Like, the music does speak for itself. So, like I was saying, I do understand if you only want to own this digitally. But I am just highly suggesting your YouTube, you know, ripped version of this record it's not even close to as sick as this bad boy sounds on wax. I really need to get the cassette version of this. Next time I get some money, I'm definitely getting the tape version. Because I listen to the tape version of Star Spawn more than I do the LP. But that's just me. But the live photo here is by Necrot and Mortuous's Chad Galley. I thought that was pretty cool, they threw Chad a bone there. And it's also an awesome photo of the dudes, Morris, Isaac, Paul, and Jeff. It's the Death Metal Beatles. Seriously, the fucking... I always like calling them the dudes, but the dudes really knocked this one out of this fucking dimension with the Giza Power Plant. and. Inner Paths to Outer Space, which has guest vocals from Demi Licks, Anti Bowman. He's the one that, at the end of the track, just does that fucking guttural. He's, like, it's so sick. It, it's building up this, like, legit... It sounds like you're going down this fucking vortex. And then it's just like... <laughs> And it's fucking awesome. If you're a fan of Demilic or like Cathelus, you're gonna fucking love Inner Pants to Outer Space if you haven't watched the music video yet. Smoke some DMT and watch the music video. Let me know how it is. But seriously, Larry Sr. here. Wow. I also love the green logo. I love the Bruce Pennington artwork. I didn't get why this launched a thousand memes, and I think it's fucking brilliant. This record right here is hands down my death metal record of 2019, and if you watch this channel then, like I was saying, you probably thought that was obvious, but it really wasn't. There was, there was a lot of records in 2019 that let me down, but Hidden History of the Human Race did far from let me down. It actually made me love Blood Incantation even more than I already fucking do. And I don't want to give too much away of the conspiracy pamphlet or the lyrical content here. You just need to hear Hidden History of the Human Race for yourself and make up your own mind. But I suggest a blind buy it, it's so fucking good. 10 out of 10. A fucking plus. And we were blasting NVNMs, Altar of Gore, Obscure, and Obscene Gods. As always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule.